hello there. Well, I'm going to go down to the cellar of the old house where my old workshop used to be, and I've got a vise and a grind wheel, uh, grindstone, motorized grindstone that I want to take out of there and bring it up to my place. So I got to find a key and go down the cellar. I brought some wrenches over in here so that I can uh, do it. So come on with me. Watch your step when you come down to the cellar here. Come on, it's dingy, it's dark, it's spooky. Half these damn lights don't work. I put these in years ago. There's a fluorescent missing. I guess my brother must have uh, taken it out. This one here. Oh well. This is my former workshop here. All right, come on in. All right, this is what I got to do. Wait a minute now. We're missing the grindstone here. What happened to the grindstone? Here's the vise I gotta remove. I had a grindstone here, it's not here anymore. What the hell did somebody steal it on me? I can't lock this anymore because uh, they had some problems here and they had to break the lock. This is an oddball toolbox here that never got moved over because these are uh, these are just old, 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 old tools. Okay. Can't take everything. I don't have the room. This was my former workshop. If you come over here, there's a C4 transmission out of a 1974 Dodge. This was my, I uh, used to clean engine parts in here and no longer have kerosene in here. Starter out of a Dodge, I guess. Uh, I used to all the brushes and stuff to clean uh, the stuff with. Oil change pan. Timing chain out of a 318. Bearings and, uh, Heads from 318, block from a 318, all from the 74 that I got from it. It's an old uh, Dodge station wagon that was going to use the engine. I was learning how to rebuild them and stuff. But uh, I'm going to take the vise now. Oh, for crying out loud. See, is what I mean by getting old. Here's my grindstone here. It was behind the door. That's what happens when you get old? I mean, I had put this in about 30 years ago. And the vice, well, not that long ago. Probably about 20. So I was always thinking the grindstone was here. No, the grindstone's over there. We're going to remove. I bought some wrenches. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove this vice here. This is my old Black & Decker 7 and a quarter inch skill saw. Carburetor out of uh, my 63 Ford Galaxy. Funnels, rotary dial phone, automatic transmission, uh, winds, <laughs> product additive for the transmission. Oh. Motor out of a washing machine. A oh, few tools here. All right, let's get started on this thing here. Let's see, that looks like a half inch. Half a nine sixteenths. That's his nine sixteenths. No, oh, it's half inch. No, that's nine sixteenths. All right. Let's see if we got another one from underneath here. I think I bought these uh, these wrenches at Home Depot here. These ratchet huskies. I'll loosen this up and take this out. And we'll remove the grind grind wheel off the other side of the bench. Okay. We'll take the other bolt out. Okay, we're we're moving the, moving the grindstone. Now, before I take that side out, let me show you. Some of my hardware here. 
and my heavy duty hardware heavy bolts and stuff yeah there's a puller ah, probably give that to Ray that's the one I was telling Ray about I'll probably give him that it's a half inch half inch drill heavy duty but a guy many years ago I loaned it to him and he busted the choke on it jammed the, the chuck up on it I should say here's a um, gasket head gasket set for a 51 Plymouth flathead uh, I won't go into that here's some extra carburetors from some from Dodge and I guess Dodge 318's the 70 Polar I had piston ring uh, compressor and uh, here's my cutting oil that I was telling you about when I was making that generator candle valve spring compressor yep okay you can stop here is a carburetor for my 63 Ford Galaxy yep when I had it one of the many carburetors I replaced on that car rebuilds of course because I was never any good at rebuilding them so I'd get rebuilds and put them in. Alright well all this stuff down here is just uh, stuff from the 318 distributed for, from a 318 that's junk. Uh, there's stuff up here too Unbelievable. This is some of the stuff I had in my 70 Dodge customized 71 Ford Econoline. You see one of my earlier videos. You'll remember that I had this on the dashboard. It was really sexy. <laughs> okay. Well, here's another puller I'm going to give to my good friend Ray. Uh, no idea what it is. This is stuff I picked up at the yard sale years ago when I painted it red so I could find it. I kind of got that idea from my dad. He used to paint all his hammerheads and everything red so you can find them. This is a nice puller. No idea what it pulls, but we're going to give that to Ray because I'm not, I just don't have the room or anything like that to do anything like that. Up here. Ah, more puller. This, this I'll probably keep because it's a handy thing to have. This set here. I'll keep these myself. But I'll give the big red ones to my buddy. Alright, and I even got a no torch. No torch. Yep. Yep. Been had, had this shop down here since uh, shortly around 67. We moved here in 1966. I probably set this particular place up in 67 and made the uh, the walls in here down below. Well, okay, well, I think we're going to end it now because Tommy's batteries are going on his uh, on his Fuji camera, so we're going to uh, end it now. Well, here's a pump here. Uh, mm. oh, here's a pump. Wonder if that'll do water. I think I'd use kerosene one time on it. I'll have to come back at another time. Go over that. See, when they tear the house down, they're gonna lose all this stuff. We'll take that. Okay, hope you enjoyed the little tour. As you can see here, they had to break in because the people downstairs uh, were slobs and uh, the bozo that was living there had set a fire and almost burnt the damn house down about eight or nine years ago. So that they had to saw my, I had a, a dead man that came right through here to keep nobody can get in couldn't figure out how to how to get in here well I designed this and you pull this rope here see it would open this it would pull 
this up. It's unhooked right now, but it would pull this up like this. Then I'd kick the door, unlock the door and come in, but they didn't know about that. So they had to use the sawzall to get in. <laughs> yeah, one of my ingenuity projects. Got a creeper there. Got a steering box from 74 Dodge. Okay. Thank you for watching.